the time has finally come. I don't really push box CC because I don't feel the need to. I think after I've reached like 14 million, I already am like way too powerful. The game almost be almost becomes unfun. But people are starting to uh, pass me way too much. The whales I face on JP semi-regularly all have over 16 million. So I felt I like should get to their level. Because at 15, what, what, what did they get? 15.5, 2, and then 7.5. I got an extra 0.5% attack. Now we're hitting hard, boys. Now that's gonna make the whole difference. All I, I actually just went up like 200,000 because I had a ton of characters with no gear. If you want to just improve your box CC, that's all, that's all you have to do. Is just give all your characters gear. And the more characters you have, the more CC you're gonna get. Like I didn't even finish every character. I noticed I had a ton of these laying around, and I just started serving characters' gear. Oh, there he is. Now you have a full set. Oh yeah, for anyone curious about the constellation, this is what we're working with. I am at the Pride constellation. Uh, what percentage is that? 70.7%. I'm not sure what the highest one is. Obviously, I could have way higher. If I go on my box, like there's a bunch of level 90s and stuff. And, I mean, I could get these all 100, but maybe the 417 mil. I'll do, <laughs> I'll do that. It's so much raid mats, dude. I, I mean, I'm, I don't even have that many. Uh, independence. Oh my god, dependence. Yeah, that's, that's a, a story for a different day. But, you know, one thing I have a big gripe about this constellation system I never really talked about. I hate this reroll system. You know why? I mean, you have the 6 weekly, which I always do. I didn't do it this week, apparently. But, like, the fact that it re-rolls all of it and not just one pisses me off to, like, no end. Because, obviously, that means that, realistically, you will never have a close to perfect one of these, right? Like, there's no way you're gonna have highs on all of them. Like, how would that even be possible? It's not. Like... <laughs> The chances are so abysmally low, it's not gonna happen. So, I I hate this. Oh, I can't even believe they added that to the game. It's so stupid. Alright, so I'm gonna take a spin with this team, because in theory, this is the highest CC team you can make. My Galfer is missing dupes, and Arthur is like missing... So, so is Galfer. Galfer and Arthur are missing weapons, but they're still higher than any LR. The UR festivals just have naturally higher CC than any LR. And Glox is the highest CCLR, apart from Lost Vein, but I can't run Lost Vein because I'm running melee, so Lost Vein is a link. And the links here are the best CC possible. You'd be surprised, the New Year Liz actually has higher CC than... Oh, I thought, okay. Reset just happened, I thought people went offline. I was like, no, the, it's not today. Uh, L, no, LR. The New Year Liz has higher CC then LR Zelders and LR Liz, they both have actually lower CC than both Liz and now Mael. Mael, with his Holy Relic, which I don't have, actually has more CC than those two LRs. Yeah, the Holy Relic for Mael is uh, not something we're getting for now. Let's uh, let's get the Gaffer passive. Obviously, this team sucks. Like, <laughs> let's not let's not pretend that this team is uh, in any way actually good. But let's not debuff Melly. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do this. Let's not pretend that this team is in any way good. But you know, we got high CC. I just really wanted to show that you know that is the most we can achieve. But obviously, ideally, we wouldn't be using this abomination of a team here. It's just for goofs and gaffs because it's really not good. A uh, Galfrey might just die, actually. That that was so much damage. I'm so used to using, like, proper teams. That <laughs> faced with using a disjointed mess like this, it's crazy. Uh, we're gonna get the melee level 3 single target on the enemy melee. I think it's more intelligent. And we are not going to use this team again. 
It was just because I wanted to see how much I can get. Barely killed. That <laughs> Barely killed. I mean, Galfer's Cleanse is never useful. Like, legit, it really isn't. It never is useful. And it was right now. So... Hey. That's something. Alright? That's something. Oh, he is dead now. Uh, Arthur hasn't been able to get his, uh, his passive going. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is not ideal. <laughs> yeah. You know, it was just... You know, Grand Cross has evolved in a way where you really are just segmented to specific teams, right? Just using all of the, in theory, strongest characters in one isn't realistic. As we can see, especially if you're not using any Tarmia link. Like, no Tarmia link? That's crazy. At least one Tarmia link, right? Which is the most Tarmia links you can have, really. Arthur with no human. Low key, I won. <laughs> what can he do? He can't kill him. He also has the, the PvP rule. Plus 30% HP. Hey man. People talking about Arthur fell off. Against very stupid AIs. Arthur can still win. Okay. That's not true. He... He's still pretty good, but you know. So now that I have slightly more attack, I'm gonna try it out with Gelda, which doesn't use attack. And my guy is using the one ultimate. What a soldier. This is what we all strive to be. A little more like Moonwing here. Which, I don't know who this guy is, but i faced him like several times. I, I know him by name, because on JP, there's not that many people with English names. Oh, he didn't die. There's not that many people with English names. So when you face a few of them relatively often, you kind of recognize them. There's like two I can think of from the top of my head that I face all the time. Moonrain here, and this guy called Noob. I think he's not even in the guild. But he's always like top 5 in, in ungeared in, on JP. I don't know who that guy is, but I, I see him around. If you're watching, noob, I know you exist. As I'm sure a lot of other JP players do, because you're like, you're like a freak. You get <laughs> you're always in the ungeared top 100, like at the top, like why? I don't know why people even do that, because there's no reward, you know? There's no reward for doing that. They're just doing it from the, the for passion, you know. Hey man, if you love if you <laughs> love that much, then uh, I guess uh, I guess I can't say much about it. And uh, the extra attack, as you can see, is making wonders for Galda, which uses HP as her source of damage. Blue King? Well, I mean, I, I guess if you are going first, this is pretty good. Dude, I... Mm, I complain sometimes that I can't face real players. But that's only a complaint when I'm trying to go second. If I go first against a real player, 9 times out of 10 they back out. Which, like, which like... Okay, if you already know you're gonna lose, right? No point in wasting time on the match. But I swear... <laughs> This only happens when I'm trying to go first. When I'm trying to go second, I can't face real players. And that's the moment where I actually want to face them because they're not just gonna back out. 
As you can see, I've been here for a little while. As you can tell by my uh, my voice. Seeing a lot more gaffers. I do notice that uh, first day of a festival banner, people are very conservative on summoning, which I guess makes sense. I guess makes sense. Ah, I don't kill. No. Yeah, same thing was for was for Arthur. I mean, Galfer is uh, is a banner where unless you're a whale, I I don't suggest summoning. It really is one of those. It's just so close to anniversary. It's not even a dig on how good Galfer is. It kind of is actually. It, it, it kind of is. He's not game breaking. So festivals tend to be game breaking. So if one isn't, you know. Since Galfer is not really game breaking, it leads me to say it's more worthwhile not summoning than doing so. When very likely, Anniversary Festival will be game breaking. The only time we didn't get a game breaking Anniversary Festival was, what, 3rd Anniversary? That like Liz wasn't really all that. And Bond was so terrible that they had to buff him. But after buffing, you can't deny. The boy is goaded. So, you know. <laughs> the track record is pretty good for anniversary festivals. It's not as fantastic as December festivals. That one has the track record of success. Alright, this isn't supposed to be a large scope video or whatever anyway. So I think I'll just end with this one. It's just, you know, I did the video for 15 mil, I'm pretty sure. So I just want to add in as another mark of progression. And I, I I already feel like, you know, I did just go for 16. I guess I'll play one more. I already feel kind of behind. I, I think I, I have two guild members who are at like 17, like quite above 17 million. So it's not like I'm <laughs> going crazy or anything. As I said a few times, like, I, I don't whale for big, like, stat advantage. I just want to have the characters so I can make videos on them. That's my main concern. If I start getting to the point where my box CC is so low that that interferes with it because I'm getting... Especially if you're playing on JP at specific hours, you end up facing whales, like, non-stop. It becomes hard to record because of it, then yeah, that's when I step in. Which is now. That's about it. <laughs>